everybody. Hello. How are you? It has been, oh my goodness, three amazing weeks since my last show. And I've been on quite the adventure in many, many different ways. So first and foremost, um, for my trip, I was notified that is uh, pretending to be me online and um, reaching out to people on Instagram, offering them readings and to remove stuff. Anyway, just know I will never reach out to you and say, hey, you need a reading. It's my belief. It's my um, knowing that when somebody needs me, they will find me. And to the person who's doing this, I know I'm not the only one they're doing this to. There are several other people on YouTube that they're doing this to. And just FYI, that's uh, a federal offense because you're impersonating a per someone, you're stealing somebody's identity, and you're collecting money under the pretense that you are this person. So federal offense, federal time, federal prison. And if you think we won't press charges, oh, you are wrong. I'm a Gemini. I'm all about justice. And I will be the first in line if somebody rips off anyone I personally know, especially using my identity. Okay. Now, having said that, having said that, um, when you pay on PayPal and it's not my name or my business name, guess what? It's not me. That's, that's, that's number one. When you're paying with PayPal or Cash App, their actual name will show up. Report this person. Report them on Instagram. Report them to PayPal. Report them wherever you have to. Okay. So... I had the most amazing two-week adventure, met some of the most amazing people I think I've, I've met, and I am feeling really grateful and blessed to have had that experience. Um, the weather was amazing, the, the people were amazing, and Colombia is so beautiful. I mean... I think it's one of the most beautiful countries I've seen so far. And uh, I could talk all show about that, but I'm not going to. I am going to go right into my show. Now, I need you to know I'm, I'm uh, live streaming or, yeah, live streaming on YouTube live streaming on Facebook. This is my Facebook camera. This is my YouTube camera. And this is also going to be used for my TV show, um, Psychic Medium, Tony G on WSCS. So having said all of that, I want you to know, I'll be calling out your area code. And, and if you do have a question, if you want to ask a question, if you want to connect with me, connect with a loved one, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. I'll be happy to answer one question for you. That question should not be, please tell me about the next six months or a year of my life. A very specific question because my uh, call log is always full, always full. And I try to get to as many people as I can. Um, let's see. Any other, any anything else I'm supposed to be telling you guys? I don't even know at this point. I see somebody's on Facebook. Hello, Irma. Wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to go directly to my callers. And the log is here. So I'll be looking at my log and I'll be uh, taking those calls and um, trying to pay attention to the other two screens. Also, thank you for the hearts. 
Holly, hi. If you want to call in, Holly or Irma, the number is 845-277-9131. I will try to get to you. I love you guys so much. Holly, it's wonderful to see you here. Um, okay, let's go to the first caller, 205. Hello, 205. How can I help you today? Hi, Tony. It's been a while since I've heard you. Um, hold on. I'm so, so pleased to, um, to, um, to talk to you today. Thank you for taking my call. Um, and I'm not sure I'm just going to ask first. Do you, is it okay for a general read or do I need to be specific? On the show, um, you need to be a bit specific, but if something important comes in, I'll tell you. Um, but, but just for the show, okay. because I have like 50 people waiting and I always say, I, I just need to say this. I feel tremendously guilty if I don't get to get to people because I know some people call in for months trying to get through. And I, I really, yeah. I really feel horrible, but I, I, oh, wait, um, do you know what? Bef before I take your question. So that everybody gets something from the show, I'm going to start with a clearing. And the first word I hear is abundance. And abundance right now is really important for everybody. So there's something stopping and a, a stopping or blocking our flow of abundance. I get a yes. So I'm going to clear that so that we can open up those channels to abundance. Now, Abundance is such a general word. It's abundance in love, abundance in money, abundance in receiving, being able to accept into your life the abundance that's meant for you. Whew. And anybody who's watched or listened to my show before knows the energy hits me pretty hard. So there I go, feeling it in my heart, like that pressure and that boom, boom, boom. So even if you don't feel it, don't worry. I'm feeling it, and you should notice changes soon. So, okay, let's go to your question right away. What's your first question? What's your question? Okay. Okay. Um, my question is, um, when do you use the um, long-term love for me coming in. Okay, with a partner, long-term love with yeah. a specific partner, somebody you have the potential to have a very long, and let me tell you, relationships are about, um, as much as they're about love, it's learning love, learning to love yourself, learning to love others unconditionally. This person is coming in in a person I'm there's not just one okay we've all had if we're over a certain age we've had a couple of partners and each of those partners has taught us valuable things about ourselves um I'm gonna tell you in February somebody is coming in that is significant this person has the potential to change your life in a good way or in a way that makes your life better this person has the potential now we can we can shut down we can turn away we can uh be afraid we can um not let our walls down we can be guarded we can not we can misunderstand love for um overbearing depending our on where we are in our journey so what i'm going to say is if 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 you properly and and you can't do things i have to be careful of how i word things because people are so literal in, in, especially me i'm extremely literal but if this if you connect with this person and you have the attitude of i'm not going to be afraid because when it comes to love we are terrified Oy vey, are we terrified? We get so afraid that the past is going to repeat itself. But if you can, if you can uh, say, maybe it'll be different. What can I learn? In February, the person is going to come in, and I'm going to tell you something. I see an exact date, and I'm going to tell you this date, but don't stick to this date because it might be earlier, it might be later, it might be around this date. You might meet this person on one date, but then on the date I'm about to give you might be the first significant t 
time, like a, an actual first date with this person, but I see February 28th as being significant for you. Now I know that's, is that the last day of February this year? I don't even know anymore. Who does? Um, but I'm going to tell you, this person is a significant person in your life, and they're going to, um, you have the potential. This sounds so hokey and romantic, and I hope I'm not overstating it, but you have the potential to blossom or open like a flower, and that can definitely mean two different things, and for those watching you, yes, this is my many shades of red going on right now, as it could mean one thing definitely. Um, we have a little bit of an adult theme going going on there but uh, <laughs> well I uh, think that it's been three years of a long term relationship so I am so receiving that Tony I love you thank you so much God bless you continue to stay safe and I truly now, now remember when this person comes in I'm not done yet I'm not done with you yet when this girl don't be hanging up yet because I am not done with you yet I, I can talk so or they can talk so let me finish <laughs> okay oh my goodness I don't think I've been this red on my show, I'm like so red for you. I'm like having tears come out of my eyes because I, the thing is, um, and you can see in my, like the makeup covers up the red in my face, but not in my arms. I'm so red right now. So one of the things that they are saying for you is, um, <laughs> When this person comes in, do not have expectations, no matter what. Don't have expectations, good, bad, ugly, otherwise. Allow the, the relationship to just <laughs> open you up. Now, what people don't realize is when I hear certain things, I get a vision of things and that is what is actually turning me red is the vision i am receiving <laughs> oh my goodness gracious oh my goodness. <laughs> it's gonna be a very passionate connection but keep your head on straight okay that's the best message <laughs> i can give you um and then they're singing, oh, my God, I can't believe I have to tell you this song. Um, they're singing the song Like a Virgin. So with, with all of that, with all of that, I'm just going to say, I think this is a really good connection coming in February, end of February, beginning of March. Keep a very open mind. Don't have preconceived notions, no matter what about this person. This person may look like maybe they're not as um, financially, you might think they're not very financially well, but I'm going to tell you something. When I, when I meet people, I don't tell them who I am. I don't tell them I have seven books, two TV shows, blah, 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 radio show. I don't tell them anything about me because I want to know the truth about how people treat people before I let somebody in. So uh, this person, just keep in mind, this person uh, might be finding, he might not front. Oh, that's a really good word. He might not front, okay? I feel like this person does not okay. front. Okay. No pretenses. As a matter of fact, he might not hide things, but he doesn't put everything out on stage. It's a lot of backstage stuff you have to you have to find out on your own, okay? But it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Okay. So February, March, and just um, keep your wits about you. Call back at that time. If I can get to you, I will. And just before you go, um, I'm going to do for you, for everybody listening, for everybody re-listening to the show, there's something stopping or blocking you from a healthy, loving 
connection with a partner and I get a yes. So we're going to start clearing that. And so that when this person does come in, you're ready, willing and able to accept to accept the love they're ready to give you. And that is the biggest problem that we have in society today. People are not able to accept love graciously for so many different reasons. So I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to start to work for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. So just allow that to happen. Allow this to clear. And when this person comes in, everything doesn't have to happen today. We don't have to be married tomorrow. We don't have to be, you know, conforming to what society thinks. If this is forever, I have nothing to worry about, right? Just remember. Absolutely. Absolutely. Remember that statement and go with it. Okay, love? Thank you, Tony. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, sweetie, I love you too. God bless. And until next time, go make some miracles. Okie dokie. I'm going to go to the very next caller. And the next caller is 510. Hey, 510. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Tasha. I'm calling from California. Hey, Tasha. How are you today? I'm doing good. Excellent. How can I help you? Um, anything you pick up for me? Any messages? Oh, I, I, on the show, I like to do a very specific question just because there are so many people waiting and I want to. Um, okay. So if you have a specific question, and sometimes I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes people do not like the random message that they get. I've, I've lost a lot of callers that way. So really, what do you, what do you really want to know, Tasha? Uh, with this connection with this guy that I've been seeing named Charles, mm-hmm. he's the same zodiac sign, so I'm trying to break out the connection. Okay, so... And he is there to... I'm going to, I hope you understand what I'm about to say. He's there to mirror you, to show you what you like and don't like about yourself, to show you what you, to show you, um, you know, it's really the, the message that I'm getting about this is um, study the course. Don't waver and 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 to uh really to take take just take it one day at a time and um it's a it's a good connection if if you just want to know about the connection i'm going to tell you this is a good connection and it's okay. uh it's but now now here's what else i'm going to say a good connection any any connection can last as long as it is healthy for us um you have a good connection with this person and sometimes being with somebody who's your own sign is um good in many many ways cuz you understand them in a way you you couldn't understand other people but it also shows us a lot about ourselves. So just everything that comes up, reevaluate yourself and work on healing it. Because I, I personally believe that as we heal ourselves, we heal those in our energy. So just go at it from that perspective and everything will be okay. Okay. This summer, try to have as okay. much fun as possible throughout the summer. Um, because in the fall, things are going to get a bit serious for you. I don't know mm, uh, how do they mean that. Uh, not uh, not in a negative way. It's just going to be one of those things where <clears throat> just throughout the summer, have as much fun as, as possible. Because I feel like possibly in the fall, it's going to be a lot of work. And a lot of, uh, oh, like, 
like sometimes when we have so much work, we don't have time to play. So this summer, make sure you're making time for yourself. Okay, beautiful? Okay. Excellent. I hope this, I, I really, really hope this was helpful. Okay. Is this like a long term or short term, short, short term donation? Uh, that's up to you. Um, oh. Again, here's what I'm going to say. Again, this summer, enjoy yourself because in the fall, things are going to get, um, things are going to change in the fall. The dynamics are going to change in the fall. So just enjoy yourself throughout the summer. Don't take things too seriously throughout the summer. And by the fall, you will know the answer that you're looking for. But sometimes it's better not to know the answer ahead of time so we can just live in the moment. Okay, beautiful? Okay. Thank you so much for calling in. I look forward to next time. Okay. All righty, I'm going to go straight away to the next caller. But before I do that, I want to thank everybody so much who's watching on Facebook. Um, Pamela, David, Leon, Omar. Omar, how are you? Um, Robert, Miranda, and there are many others that um, I did not get to, and I'm sorry, um, remember all of the clearings that I do, they, they help the caller, but they help the watcher, they help the listener. And they also, if you're listening or watching or re-listening or re-watching the show, they will be just as effective for you as if you are the person I'm talking to. Now, if you go back through my shows, I have many shows just on wealth and money, um, clearing anything, blocking that, along with shows on um, love and relationship and being stuck. So speaking of being stuck, let's clear that because I just feel like uh, that's a really important one. So if I test uh, we are uh, we are stuck, I get a yes. So let's start clearing that. And this can be stuck in career, relationship, um, it, personally, like being stuck not to be able to move forward in what you really want and reaching your goals. For every, I like to keep it general and vague um, during the show because everybody might be stuck in a different area. And it's really important for me that you get what you want or need during this um, time. Okay, next, caller number blah, blah, 270, not blah, blah, <laughs> not blah, blah, caller 270. <laughs> hello, 270, hello, blah, blah, 270, how are you today? <laughs> I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you so much for calling in. How can I help you today? Um, my name is Joy, and I wanted to connect with my grandmother neighbor. Okay. So, okay. Um, the first thing your grandma wants to say to you, and she was, as soon as you said grandma, she was like, boom, in, in like, I don't know if you're watching, but she was right here by my right eye, like really close to me, like boom. Um, but she had a very strong presence and she is um, she is she is a very strong willed woman. She was a very strong willed woman with a very strong, like she people knew her presence. They would they would not mess with her. Nobody would mess with her. I'm just telling you that. Now, I won't mess with her. <laughs> um, so one of the things that, that for some reason, I don't know if this makes sense to you, and I hope it does, but she just keeps saying the color blue. Blue, 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 blue. I don't know if that was her favorite color, if that's significant of a, uh, something that she... I don't know why, but she just keeps saying blue, 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 blue. So that's the first thing. And then the next thing, uh, I don't know what's, I really don't know why she is coming on strong. But the next thing that she is saying is red, 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 red. 
So blue and red. I don't know, again, what these colors signify. I just know this is what she is saying to me. Now, the next thing she is saying is you're not listening. You're not listening. You have been, um, I feel like, okay, this, if, if I'm going to guess this and, and try to tell you what she is saying, um, you have been asking questions or praying, but you're not paying attention to or listening to or able to understand the answers that they're giving you. You have not been paying attention to the signs or you are not uh, focused on it. It's almost like, okay, I used to meditate a lot and, and I, st I still do, don't get me wrong, but I would meditate and through my whole meditation, I would just ask question after question after question after question. And that's the nature of my beast, okay? Finally, they just yelled, shut up and listen. And I went, <laughs> I just, here's me. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And they're like, no, zip it. Stop. Stop your mind. Sheesh. So I, <laughs> it took me a good minute before I could get to that place where I would allow them to, to, um, during my meditation, show me answers. But she, she is saying to you, that a lot of the answers you're looking for are in the songs that come in shortly after or while you're playing uh, shortly after or while you're asking the question. And, um, and music, it fits your life. She is just saying like music fits your life. Um, it's such a big part. And then the other thing she is... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's not coming out of my mouth. Um, the other thing that she is saying is that you have, um, have you lost a little bit of your faith? Love? 90 seconds. Because she is saying you have to get back into your faith, back into your program, back into your faith. So, you know what, I, I, without you even answering that question, um, I'm going to uh, I'm I'm going to clear that because faith is everything. Knowing is everything, and I'm not talking about religion. I don't care what religion anybody is. Um, Sixty seconds. We just have to be filled with faith and knowing. And your faith has been compromised. I get a yes. So we're going to start clearing that because your connection to divine could be very strong. And you can connect with her very uh, well. Uh, that's not the right word. But you have a very strong connection to the other side. And if you allow your faith to guide you to that connection, you will be able to communicate not only with her, but with all of your loved ones that have transcended. And you will have magical I'm not even joking here. Uh, you will have magical, miraculous knowings like boom, 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 boom. They will come in so quickly and so strong. Your eyes will be so wide open. It's not awake like other people say, oh, you need to, I'm I'm woke. It's not like that kind of woke. It's the connection awake to the all that is, all that was, all that will ever be, and knowing you're part of it, even though we feel separate from it, it is us. Okay, now on that, my show has already ended. So unfortunately, as much as I, I would love to keep talking with you and your grandma, I'm going to have to uh, thank everybody for calling in, everybody for listening and watching. I'm really grateful for all of you being here and joining me today.